Hey there, Ageless Warriors. Today, let's dive into a topic that's close to our hearts and our taste buds. The undeniable connection between our daily lives and the way we think about food. It's like we're in a never-ending tug-of-war with our cravings, isn't it? Well, let's talk about it, and let's keep it in a light-hearted yet profound way. Like good friends sharing some wisdoms. So here's the scoop. We're all a little bit controlled by food, but it's not entirely our fault. From the moment we're born, we're surrounded by food. We're swaddled in blankets of comfort food and rocked to sleep by the lullabies of delicious treats. Food becomes part of our identity, a source of joy, and sometimes it's a distraction from life's challenges. We wake up thinking about our breakfast choices, and as the day goes on, our mind wonders to what's for lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. It's, it's like a constant loop of culinary contemplation. But is it really our fault? Not entirely. We've been programmed this way, conditioned to seek pleasure and comfort in food. We've been rewarded with sweets for good behavior and consoled with comforting dishes during tough times. But my friends, there is a solution, and it starts with recognizing this programming. It's time to break free from the chains of food obsession and embrace some discomfort along the way. Let's find satisfaction in the sacrifice, shall we? Here's some ageless wisdom nuggets to help you on your journey. Number one, try mindful eating. Start by being present when you eat. Instead of mindlessly devouring your meal, savor each bite. Taste the flavors, appreciate the textures, and take your time. It's amazing how much more satisfying a meal can be when you're fully engaged with it. And this is important. Portion control, number two. You don't have to give up your favorite foods entirely. Practice moderation. Enjoy that slice of cake, but not the entire cake and not every single day. By controlling your portions, you can still relish the flavors, but without overindulging. And you have to learn to eat slowly and savor each bite. Because that's the key. Take your time. Because if you woof down that cake, you're going to find that the, the body says, oh, I want more, I want more. And, and it's, it's addictive anyways, but that's another topic. Number three, explore healthy options. There are a world of nutritious, delicious foods out there waiting to be discovered. Experiment with new recipes and ingredients that nourish your body and soul. You might be surprised how tasty and satisfying they can be. We've given up sugar ourselves by creating some amazing low-carb dishes. There's some wonderful flavors. My gosh, Peggy made these kind of low-carb nachos with tomatillos and spices. Man, it was incredible. When you've got flavors like that, when you've got these mouth-watering, mouth-soul-melting flavors for a meal, and you embrace them and you eat slowly, it makes a huge difference. Now, the next one you're going to hate. Number four, embrace discomfort. Yep, you read that right. Sometimes breaking free from food's grip means embracing a little bit of discomfort. It's okay to feel hunger occasionally. It's a reminder that your body is working. You're actually resetting your blood sugar. It's a reminder your body is working and it can handle a little bit of hunger without panic-induced raid on the pantry. Seriously. And then find new rewards, number five. That's my final suggestion. Replace the reward system that revolves around food with other fulfilling experiences. Go for a walk. Meditate. Read a good book. Connect with friends and loved ones. These activities can provide the comfort and joy you seek without adding extra inches to your waistline. I'm a person who can eat all day long. Always have in the past. I've beaten that. I eat dinner and I want to go have a tortilla or an apple or a candy bar or whatever. I remind myself that I'm not hungry. And I actually say, you know what? This is somebody else controlling you. This is food controlling you. And I refuse to do that. I absolutely refuse to. And I hope you can find the same peace with it. So remember, ageless living is about embracing a balanced, healthy lifestyle that allows you to thrive. Food is part of that journey. And it's okay to enjoy food. But it should not control every aspect of your life. Recognize the programming. Break free and find satisfaction in the choices you make, you are going to be blown away how good you will feel. You've got this. Move well, stay healthy, 
Be happy. Live every single day with passion.